The prostate is the largest axillary sex gland in males. It surrounds the beginning of the urethra and it is the shape of a chestnut. It is made up of 30 to 50 compound tubuloalveolar glands that are embedded in a framework of fibromuscular tissue. In sections, the glandular tissue is seen in the form of numerous follicles. Those are lined by the columnar epithelium. So the follicles of this gland are lined by the columnar epithelium. This glandular tissue is embedded in the prominent fibromuscular stroma. So this tissue is the fibromuscular tissue or the stroma. The epithelium is thrown into numerous folds and these follicles drain open into 12 to 20 excretory ducts that open into the prostatic urethra. And these ducts are lined by double layered epithelium and some small rounded masses of uniform or lamellated structures are found within the lumen of these follicles and they are called as the amyloid bodies or the corpora amylasa. These are the amyloid bodies or the corpora amylasia. These are more abundant in older individuals. These consist of condensed glycoprotein and they are often calcified. The fibromuscular tissue forms a conspicuous feature of the sections of prostate. It contains collagen fibers and the smooth muscles. Within the gland, the fibromuscular tissue forms a septa that separate the glandular elements and these septa are continuous with the fibrous capsule that surround the prostate. And the capsule contains numerous veins and parasympathetic ganglion cells. On the basis of differences in the size and nature of the glands, the prostate can be divided into outer or the peripheral zone and the inner or the internal zone. And there may be an innermost zone that lies immediately around the prostatic urethra. The glands present in the outer zone are mainly the prostatic glands. They open into long ducts and that join the urethra. The internal part have short ducts. The internal glands or the submucosal glands, they have short ducts. And the innermost or the mucous glands, they open directly into the urethra. The internal and the innermost zones together form the central zone. Now let's talk about the function of the prostate gland. The prostate produces secretions that form a considerable part of semen. And this secretion is rich in enzymes like acid phosphatase, amylase and protease and in citric acid. The prostate also produces substances like prostaglandins that have numerous actions. Now let's talk about the clinical correlation. Benign nodular hyperplasia of the prostate. It is a non-neoplastic tumour like the enlargement of the prostate. And it is a very common condition in men. It becomes increasingly more frequent about the age of 50 years and its incidence approaches for about 75 to 80 percent in men about 80 years. The central zone commonly undergoes benign hypertrophy in the old persons and the enlargement of prostate can compress the urethra that leads to problem in passing urine. And the second clinical correlation is the carcinoma of the prostate. 
Cancer of the prostate is the second most common form of cancer in the males. It is a disease of men above the age of 50 years and its prevalence increases with the increasing age so that more than 50% of the men of the age group 80 years have asymptomatic or the latent carcinoma of the prostate. Many of the time carcinoma of the prostate is small and detected as a microscopic foci in a prostate that is removed for a benign enlargement of the prostate in the outer or the peripheral zone is most commonly affected by the carcinoma. So guys this is all about the histology of the prostate gland. If you like my video do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.